few years ago I did a video about uh, thermostat setbacks and I was looking at it a few days ago and I, the content was okay but it was kind of a crummy video <laughs> so I thought I'd redo this thing and go over the benefits uh, of having setback mostly in residential homes this is what I'm pretty much talking about Big buildings, it's an entirely different ball game. They have all sorts of calculations they have to go through. But on a residence, it's not that complicated. So what is a setback? Well, if you're looking at what's here, what I'm showing you here, is uh, that's a setback thermostat from the 1800s. They had setback thermostats a very long time ago. Now, this particular one has a wind-up clock, so yeah, it's good eight day clock or something and so every eight days you had to wind it up or it wouldn't switch over and it you know it had two thermostats in it one that would work at night and one that would work in the day okay the idea being at least for, in most people's mind that we were going to save energy because we're not up and moving around at night uh, we're underneath covers and stuff. We can have a little lower temperature So if you have a lower temperature Ideally you can save some money uh, It's not all that clear that that's going to happen Because setbacks what they do Okay, let's say it's 30 degrees outside and I got it 70 degrees inside the house Okay, when there's a temperature difference there 40 degrees different well heat moves to cold and it moves faster the bigger the temperature spread so if I reduce the temperature spread then by taking that 70 degrees knock it down 60 degrees I would uh, save a little energy this is not going to save you gobs of energy. It's not going to be 20, 30 percent. None of that stuff is true. I've seen too many things telling you how you can save so much energy by turning back your thermostat. Uh, by the way, you can do that yourself. You know, you go to bed at night, turn it down. Wake up in the morning, turn it back up. Uh, That'll save you as much as anything will. But you're looking at, at a maximum, maximum 10%. Mostly, it's less than that. Don't expect you're going to get these massive changes. It, it just isn't going to happen. What you should be doing, if you want this setback, and you know, you can buy setback thermostats, dirt cheap anymore. They're all over the place. And they'll set back. Uh, at night, they'll set back when you go to work and all this kind of stuff. And you you can probably get the max out of them uh, by setting back at night and then setting back at work too. But no matter what you do, it's not going to be huge. But what it, one thing it does, it's comfortable. I go to bed, it's warm. I wake up in the morning, it's warm. I'm a happy camper. If that, if you want to do a setback, do it for comfort, and maybe you'll save a little bit of money. That's about it. There's not much else to this. The one other thing that I will talk to you about is heat pumps. Heat pumps don't put out very warm air. In the winter, their air could be anywhere from 90 to 98 maybe degrees not a whole lot figuring you know a normal duct temperature for a fossil fuel or electric furnace would be about 120 but they will heat the structure the problem is they don't have a lot of catch-up capacity so when you go to turn that uh, heat back up in the morning when it comes back up by the you know when the you set it for a half hour before you wake up It's probably not going to get the temperature up that fast and 
because heat pumps work by concentrating heat. The colder it is outside, the less efficient they are. So if I go in there and I decide, well, okay, I'm going to have this thing come on a half an hour before I wake up, that's probably the coldest part of the day. If that's the coldest part of the day, the heat pump is operating at its least efficient. Now, there are some thermostats that have modifications to mitigate that. They will actually, let's say you set it for 7 o'clock in the morning, you want it to warm up. They may start at 3 o'clock in the morning, and they'll learn every day. You know, how close did I get yesterday? Do I need to go a little earlier or a little later to get up to temperature? And, and they'll do it that way. That's probably the most efficient way you can do it. But I recommend, if you have a heat pump, to not put any setbacks in it at all. It just, it's just better to keep it even with a heat pump. And remember, as I've been saying all through this thing, there isn't a huge difference here. You are not going to uh, pay for Aunt Marge's uh, kidney replacement with, with the money you save from uh, doing setbacks. You do a little setback. So, bottom line, if you want to do them, except for the heat pump, if you want to do them, fine. But do them because that you'll be comfortable when you uh, are in your house. And the whole point of having these heat systems that we have in the house, that distribute to all the rooms and all that, the whole reason we have that is so we're comfortable. Okay, that's it on this one.